Hey everybody, Adam here with Hometown Acres. Welcome back. Today, we're gonna be hogging some dirt. If you caught the last video, we started hauling fill up here with the excavator and the dump trailer because the driveway is going to cut in right here. Right now, we've got enough fill to make that sweep into the garage, but in the wintertime, I'd like to have a straight shot so you don't have to worry about trying to turn and accidentally falling off the side of the hillside there. So what we got done yesterday, we brought about seven loads in the dump trailer up and we got this flattened out so we kind of have a nice terrace now so instead of dumping the dirt up on top and pushing it over the edge we'll be able to back the dump trailer in dump it and work our way back out once we get about another seven loads in i'm thinking that's about what it works out to is seven loads per lift uh, we'll go ahead and bring the tractor with the box blade in the bucket flatten it all back out and do it all over again now i mentioned in the last video that our dump trailer holds about four tons worth of fill and if i were buying fill dirt it would be about $370 per load, but one load or one triaxle load would hold about 20 tons. So it takes about five of our dump trailer loads to equal a triaxle. And if a triaxle load is 370, that means that each load that I haul up here in the dump trailer is worth about 75 bucks. And I've kind of got it timed out now from yesterday. We did, it takes about five minutes to fill the dump trailer and then probably about 10 minutes to haul it up here because we're coming from down where the excavator is on the other side of the pond, up the firewood road, and then I've got to back it up here, dump it, and then go back down, get turned around and back back into the excavator. So it takes about 10 minutes to do that. So 15 minutes for 75 bucks. I think that's a pretty good deal. You've got fuel and depreciation and my time baked in there as well, but I still think I'm saving a good bit of money doing it this way.
All right, so that's about 12 dump trailer loads of fill there spread out into two separate lifts. I think we probably gained about a foot, so we're doing about six inch lifts, which I think for rolling it in with the tractor ought to be fine to get proper compaction. But uh, if we go back to our math room this morning, we had eight loads we brought in yesterday. We brought in another 12 today, so that's 20 loads. And that would equal roughly four triaxle loads of fill at $370 between yesterday and today. We saved ourselves close to $1,500 in fill by digging it ourselves. Yes, we burnt diesel in the truck, the excavator, and the tractor, but I can tell you right now, it wasn't $1,500. For all the people concerned about compaction, in the last video, here's an up-close look at how well this is all packing together. A lot of clay, a lot of rock, shale, and uh, it's just locking together really nice and tight. I know you guys can't feel it from walking on it, but I can tell you this is pretty hard packed. Now, about this borrow pit, people in the last video seemed genuinely concerned that we were just gonna leave this as an open pit, which would obviously create a huge safety hazard for anybody that was coming through here. But I do have a plan. If you can tell, I've been taking out this high side of this ridge right here. And the reason is, when I'm all done, I'm planning on pulling the material from the high side to pull it back in, which will lessen the slope of this hill, and it'll make it a lot easier to brush hog in the future, because when I get on this hillside on the tractor, it's a little bit tippy. So I'm gonna be killing two birds with one stone, taking the material out of here to regrade our driveway up there, and then the void that that's gonna create, I'm gonna be able to use that to lessen this slope of the hillside here. Backfilling this pit is also gonna be a good opportunity to get rid of some less desirable material. If you remember when we cleaned out our old firewood yard, we took the box blade and kind of scratched the surface, got a little bit of topsoil, some firewood scrap, some sawmill scrap, and that's gonna get buried in here as well. So it'll be a good, good time to get rid of all that stuff. If you see here, we started getting into the water table. There's some puddles there in the bottom. So I quit digging down right here because I don't want wet soupy material. I want nice dry stuff. So that's kind of why whenever I start getting into wet material, that's when I start working my way left. I want nice dry material to build our road on. Anyways, that's going to about wrap this one up. As always, if you guys have any helpful tips or comments, leave them down below. If you guys enjoyed this one, give us a big thumbs up, click that subscribe button. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. For all you guys who stuck around to the very end of this video, here is what the finished product looks like. This totaled about 38 loads in the dump trailer, which works out to seven or eight triaxle loads, which is about $2,800 worth of fill that we got put in here. Now all we need to do is get some top dressing material, which I will have to purchase, probably a couple triaxle loads worth of 2A limestone to dress this all up. And then a couple people have commented that we also are gonna need some kind of retaining wall. And I do have a plan for that. We'll talk about that in a future video. But yeah, we definitely wanna make sure we hold this hillside in here. Anyway, now this video is finished.